Welcome back to episode 21. As you can see, I'm still with my friends. I've never managed to change the uh, the settings for how my voice chat comes out, and I apologize for my bird. He's all up in my business. Name is Stuart. He's an African Grey, and he loves me to death. He's adorable. He makes little noises when he's happy. And makes loud noises when he's being ignored, as you can see. But, uh... So, we're playing Manhunt again. And, uh... Playing with three out of the four people from the group. I don't know what happened to our fourth. I don't even remember. Um... But of course, we ended up blending together close, so that way we could get some score going. And, uh, of course, one of our pursuers comes in, and he's he's staring me down. He's trying to, to gaze who's doing what, and my friend decides to use a disruption on him. I thought I could go in and stun him, but if they're circling... That means they get a view around them so they can see you still rushing at them. It's not always like a definite thing that you're gonna kill them, but it definitely uh, disorients them. And as I said in my previous video, I sent him a message and we ended up talking, but I didn't. I don't think I opened up that video in this game. I hope. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd be kind of weird to uh, to be sending a message on Xbox and trying to do everything else. Of course, blend into a group, and I'm thinking to myself, why am I in this blend group when there's literally nobody who looks like me? Me hearing the whispers, I decided to join into a blend group with multiples of myself. And I get this nice little stun through my morph group. Well, it's not really a morph group. It, it was just a, a good blend group. And I, of course, use disguise. And as I disguise, he suddenly teleported on me. Same guy had stunned before, he just teleported on me. I don't know what happened, but it confused me. So I was I was a little weirded out by that. Dude, I just escaped three people. And of course, some some things about this game were still happening, like some some things were rather new. So get this done after my friend used the disruptor on him. Run away because I noticed somebody might be chasing me, and guess what? They are. And I told my friend, hey, get him, get him, I'm running by, I'm running by. And he doesn't do anything. But instead I turned around and I was surprised that I was able to get that stun. That stun should not have happened that way, but it did. So I was able to, uh, to get away. Of course, as soon as I saw that, I tried to go up the wall, but I didn't. And he was... Oh, and he decides to taunt me. He's the same person that teleported on me, no less. He's a jumper. A jumper! I hate jumpers. <laughs> I need that, like, magical sword from the movie. And that way I can kill the jumpers. But, uh... I, I definitely enjoy team games, but it's only more fun when you're with your friends. Or with a decent team that knows how to communicate or just has fun with whatever they're doing. Like, we'll make a game out of whatever we needed to do. And, of course, I don't hear any whispers. We're still in first place somehow, and I start to hear whispers, so I start looking around. And of course, I managed to, to see him coming right at me, so I decided to take that opportunity and run. And as I'm running out the door... I come over here just to just to kind of lose sight of him. I disguise, of course. Get that stun out. And then I try to go through a. Uh, I try to chase somebody down, and I didn't manage to do that since somebody else came up behind me. A level three. What a pro. <laughs> and as as you can see, I'm I'm getting I'm getting a, a decent uh, score to myself and everything. And I see this one person chasing me down, so I throw down my money bomb to see if I can get somebody in his way. Didn't work out too well. I was running right behind him, and he didn't do so. Great. 
but we're still in the lead by quite a bit. So I just join into this blend group and I start looking at the women's. Oh yes, oh yes. Oh, shit. What the fuck? You ran past me and made me trip. <laughs> and you hear nothing but obscenities from my friends when they get ganged up on. So it makes everything so much funnier. But of course, nothing's ever perfect. So. Uh... Oh. Of course, he went after my friend. And so I decided to come up and stun him. I got the last stun of the game. Putting me ahead of my team and everything. So I was I was enjoying myself. I died the most, though. Sorry for being so quiet. But we're switching teams now. And now it's time to play the hunter. Um... He was talking about wipe, how wipe was really useful, but I see it used very rarely, and not used very well, often than not. Even he doesn't use it that well, but he, he uses it at a point which helps me, and I don't remember when, but uh, we'll walk through this blend group. They, got, they end up cleaning up the whole team, except for like one, who... And no surprise, is like right in front of me. <laughs> and I get the ground finished to go ahead and get part of my varieties. And then we're on on the chase yet again on the road again. Notice that one of them was in my line of sight, so I decide I'm gonna kind of track him down a little bit. Of course, he's he's. He's grazing over the top, and so he's going to end up in front of me. What's up, bro? Now, I notice instantly, hey, it's a, it's a full blend group. So I used my line of sight to get my, my image up. Kept losing my lock. Noticed he would glimmer and then move over. Doesn't really work that well. Thought he escaped me because I was moving away from him, like I was gonna go chase after somebody else. But I wanted to get that aerial in. I taunted him because he taunted me. I see one of the few reasons why I will taunt somebody is if they taunt me first, or to get the challenge done. Um, I just come running around the corner and kill him. And I pick up my friend here. Well, he's not even part of my friends. He was just one of the few people that I was following. Or that uh, joined our team late. So. I apologize. Oh, scratch my nose a little bit here. Okay. Moving on. I've been so quiet. And I'm just talking about the gameplay. Oh. And I'm so popular today. I... I get text messages all the time. No, not really. Hey, Flexi, coming up on you. Oh, see him. And we both throwing knifed him, which was a waste. But I let my friend have it. I decided I was just going to move on to uh, this next person. Gotta throw them knives. Who is over here. I think this is where I see him use wipe. How'd he stun me? He threw coins down. And of course, as you can see, he, he ended up in white like he was covered in snow or something. So, I came up behind him. Somebody used firecrackers, I don't know who, but I got him. I think he did as a defense mechanism, so, to blind me. But, uh, it doesn't always work when you're playing with players who have played through, uh, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, or, uh, Assassin's Creed Revelations. They're used to firecrackers, so they normally already have a lock on you. So, the best time to use it is when you know you're gonna run. You use it, and then you kind of double back or turn around. It helps. I don't know what that guy was doing, just hiding in a blend group or in the hay bale when there was nobody that looked like him around. I think he was kind of new. Just saw that person come out of disguise, so I come around, take him out. Of course, you can see me reaching level 21. So happy. One minute left. With only a minute left to spare. We've pretty much doubled the enemy's score, and, uh... 
of course, I'm like catching people off guard, catching people at open doors. I'm going on like a, a massive terror here and just going through people. And I made the comment, hey man, I just passed your, your highest score on this game. On this game type. Because of course we're, we were being competitive and it shows like the new record and everything. So, I was trying to get a lock on this person. And I tried to jump up the wall, but I didn't do it in time. So he ended up getting the stun on me. So I locked him. He walked right past my friend. And my friend didn't even notice. So I was like, dude. I just turned a corner right and it says right on me. Yeah. So I tried to help my friend out with that one, but didn't work out in, in the best of uh, interests. So we still ended up coming in first place. He beat his own high score, but I still ended up beating that high score nonetheless. So. Top of my team, level 21. And that'll be the end of that game. Six and five. Not great, but showing that you, if you approach people the right way, then you'll get somewhere. He was probably the best by getting like the most assists out of everybody and staying alive the longest. So... He did amazing work. He's a really good teammate. That is what you need in a team game. Somebody who's going to communicate with you. Somebody who's going to help you out. You don't want somebody who's who's all for themselves. Otherwise, you might as well not bother. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you guys watch my future vids.